In this video, I will go over how to connect your 3D printer to a Raspberry Pi running Octoprint. I will not be going over the installation of Octoprint or Marlin, but I can cover those topics in another video. First, we need to make a cable to go between the Pi and the printer. The board I am working with is the MKS Base version 1.4. Links are in the description for materials and tools used. I cut the one end off of a female breadboard jumper wire and crimped on a JSTXH pin. I did this four times on four different colored wires. Follow my wonderful hand-drawn diagram here for reference. We need to add a voltage divider to bring the printer signal down to a safer voltage for the Pi. I used two resistors. One is 1.6K ohm, the other is 3.3K ohm. Be sure that the 3.3K ohm resistor is connected to the receive line after the 1.6K ohm resistor, exactly as shown. Next, we need to change a few things on the Raspberry Pi. We are going to SSH into the Raspberry Pi using PuTTY. A download link is in the description. Enter the IP address of the printer. Leave 22 as the port number. Type PI for the login and Raspberry as the password. After logging in, you will need to type sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config.txt. Scroll down using the arrow key to the very bottom. Enable UART using enable underscore UART equals 1. Below that, you can either type DT overlay equals PI3 dash mini UART dash BT if you need Bluetooth. Or type DT overlay equals PI3 dash disable dash BT if you do not. This allows us to use the UART pins on the GPIO header of the PI. Make sure there are no typos and hit Control X and save the file. Next, we need to go to the Octoprint interface to add that port to the list of additional ports. Open a browser and navigate to your printer's IP address. Click on the wrench icon at the top right. In the additional ports text box, type forward slash DEV forward slash TTY capital A capital M capital A zero and click save. Next, we need to change some settings on the printer itself. I am only going to cover Marlin in this video. Other firmwares like Clipper and Repetier may require additional steps. Open up the folder where Marlin is stored on your PC, usually in the Arduino Sketches folder. Navigate to the Source folder and look for the Pins folder. In this folder, find the pins underscore ramps dot h file. Open it in any text editor. Find the Limit Switches section and modify it to look like mine. I moved xmin, which is normally digital pin 3, to xmax, which is pin 2 and not used. I then moved zmin, which is normally pin 18, to xmin, which is pin 3. zmax has to be changed to minus 1 to prevent any errors. This opens up zmin and zmax to be used for the serial connection. Save the file and open Marlin in the Arduino IDE. We need to set the serial port to 1 in the configuration.h tab. Use Control F and search for serial underscore port to locate it quickly. Next, we need to change the pull-ups for the end stops. Use Control F again and search for end stop pull-ups. Make sure end stop pull-up Xmax, Ymax, and Zmax are all commented out. Comment out the end stop pull-ups line. Uncomment end stop pull-up Xmin, Ymin, and Zmin. Click Verify to run the sanity check and make sure you didn't miss anything. Upload the firmware changes to the printer. With everything powered off, we can now connect our cable. The printer's Zmin wire should be connected to pin 8 on the GPIO header. The printer's Zmax wire should be connected to pin 10. The 5 volt wire should be connected to pin 4. And ground should be connected to pin 6. A quick note about power. The 5 volts from the printer should be enough to power the Pi. Or if you prefer, you can power the printer from the Pi's power and use a remote shutoff for the main power to the printer. I will do another video about that later. This should be it. Follow me for more videos. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.